started my job search with a list to peruse. No type of employment I would refuse. I presented myself to the chaps at Blue Arrow. They said something has come in, can you start tomorrow? Outside London in Kent, I worked with a farmer. He was alright, but his wife was a charmer. I was sent to the fields to look after the stock. Lambs and sheep gathered into a flock. At break I had a sandwich of ham and cucumber. Not long after I began to slumber. Two hours later, I awoke from my sleep. Where had they gone? Come back sheep! Come back sheep! Next day I worked as a commuter train driver. The hourly rate was not good, just over a fiver. After leaving the station, on the line was a sheep. Get out of the way! Beep beep! Beep beep! The sheep ignored my call for attention. My farming exploits I decided not to mention. It finally moved off the line to a hedge. I thought next time we meet, we'll be with potatoes and veg. On a site out of town, I met a builder named Bob. For 100 a day, he gave me a job. I met with the gang. They said it's a pleasure. Nothing to gauge, not even a measure. We hammered and sawed. The house rose in a hurry. When it started to creak, we ran in a scurry. The client irate refused us our pay. He said, get off my site. Go on your way. A day as a postman, I pounded the street, delivering mail to the folks that I'd meet. Approaching me fast was a type of a mongrel. He barked and he growled, a bit of a scoundrel. He went for a bite, and instead of me crying, I remembered advice I got from young Brian. I kicked his backside and he ran with a scream. The rest of the day, it went like a dream. In a factory near Peckham, I worked with the ladies. The boss came to work each day by Mercedes. At tea time the factory floor was neglected. A machine overheated is what I suspected. Smoke rose up and escaped through the vent. Not to worry, firemen had been sent. Work finished early, it was not by choice. I never again saw Debbie Liz or Joyce. In a cake shop in Essex, I worked for Michelle. Her secret cake recipe she wouldn't tell. We filled up the ovens with mixtures of dough. Hurry up, said Michelle, you're going too slow. When she went off to lunch, I spied cake so yummy. And after a while they ended up in my tummy. With a mouthful of cake, what could I say? No wages for me, I'd eaten my pay. The week that has been I really enjoyed, but I'm no better off, I'm still unemployed. My task for next week is to earn a pound. Until then, take care, I will see you around.